welcome back to my series. If you're new here, I'm Lily and I run my own micro bakery, small business called Lily's Loaf in South London. So welcome back guys. It is Tuesday morning. It has been a very busy morning of bakes and deliveries. So I've done all of my sourdough, morning buns, cookies, and all the deliveries were out the door by 7.20. So I was very happy with that. It's always, I always feel a bit frazzled on these mornings because it is a bit of a rush to get everything out on time. Um, but great news is that one of my wholesale clients who had moved into central London and we were still supplying them on the bike, they've moved back to south west London and it's honestly such a massive relief because it was at least a 40 minute journey there, 40 minute journey back, so it was a big burden but I obviously still wanted to continue our partnership and supplying them um, so I'm just so relieved that they're back local again. So what else have I been up to recently? I have been writing my ebook and well it is definitely a challenge and a different muscle that I'm flexing. I've never written a book before, I'm not an author, I'm not a journalist, I'm not a writer but I'm giving it my best go because I really want to put something out in the world where it's a real collection of recipes, practical guides and stories on how I've built my small business over the past two and a half years or so. Um, and I just want one space, obviously it's going to be digital, but one physical space where I'll have my best recipes in there that you guys can try and also just like a collection of really beautiful photography too and yeah just kind of sharing the journey over the past two and a half years also still been looking for a property to move my micro bakery into this seems like a very long journey though um because it's a transition that i don't want to rush but at the same time i really want to be there right now and kind of move my life and move the business into there. Um, I'm always looking online on like um, Rightmove and Zoopla and these online estate agent websites and I'm calling up people um, but it just seems to be very very competitive and um, just like a long journey to get the perfect location, the perfect space, everything. Um, so it's not something that I want to rush, but it also is at the same time. So this video was actually meant to be a bagel tutorial, but because I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys in a while, um, I'm just gonna add little snippets of the bagel um, recipe throughout the rest of the video, and I'll pop the recipe down below. It's not my recipe, I've kind of tweaked um, the one that I'm using, so I'll link that one down below so you guys can give it a go. Um, but yeah, I just feel like it had been a, a little while since I'd caught up with you all and all of the various different projects that I'm doing at the moment. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. Um, and yeah, let's get on with bagels. So these bagels were actually leavened with sourdough starter. So they consist of bubbly active starter, whole grain bread flour, strong white bread flour, a little sugar, a little sea salt. I mixed the dough on Monday morning and then let it bulk ferment for about 12 to 13 hours actually. Um, and then I put it in my fridge overnight for a long cold ferment. And then on Tuesday morning, I shaped the dough and shaped them into the classic bagel shape before boiling them and then adding any toppings that I fancied. So here I added some sesame seeds and nigella seeds and also some garlic powder and these ones turned out really, really tasty. So I definitely recommend. My other ones that I made were just either plain or cinnamon and raisin, but the cinnamon and raisin ones were wacko when I took them out of the oven. They were a little bit odd. Um, anyway, we will ignore those. Um, I think where I went wrong with these was I didn't make the hole big enough 
and in the bake they just kind of closed up so they turned into more little sourdough buns instead of bagels but they were still really really tasty and I'm quite impressed that they are 100% sourdough um, so I definitely give them a go the recipe is from somebody called thecleverCarrot.com I'll leave the link down below um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video leave me a comment down below let me know what you want to see next time and I will see you very soon take care guys bye Thank you.